India Today's Margaret Alva interview has exploded on social media platforms. Hours after Margaret Alva was announced as the opposition vice president candidate, BJP has targeted the Congress asking, is Margaret Alva's candidacy a peace deal? In her India Today interview years ago, uh, Margaret Alva had said that the Gandhi family had links to the VVIP chopper scam accused Christian Michael's family. This is an uh, allegation that she had posed back in 2016 while she gave an interview to India Today. At this point, soon after the opposition has announced Margaret Alva as their choice for vice president's candidate, India Today's Margaret Alva interview has now gone viral on social media platforms. Just hours after Margaret Alva was announced as the opposition vice president candidate, BJP has now targeted the Congress, asking if at all Margaret Alva's candidature is a peace deal. In her interview with India Today, remember Margaret Alva had accused the Gandhi family of having links to VVIP chopper scam, uh, the accused of this chopper scam, Christian Michael's family. All right, let me quickly cut across to that interview where Margaret Alva spoke to Karan Thapar, accusing the Gandhi family. Let's hear it. Mrs. Alva, I want to now come to something that for many people would be rivetingly interesting and politically important. As you know, the arms dealer Christian Michel has very recently been right at the very top of the news. His father, Wolfgang Michel, was widely believed to have had a long and close association with the Congress party as well as the Gandhi family. In your book, you say that in 1980, you were given documentary proof that old Indian patent tanks were being sold to South Africa, a country with which India at the time had no relations whatsoever. And you then discovered that at the very heart of this transaction was Wolfgang Michel, the then Minister of Defense Production, CPN Singh, and you were told that this was happening at the instructions of Sanjay Gandhi. That's an amazing story. It came out in Parliament. It's on the record. We did a lot of research. Mr. Unin Krishnan and I met some of the top army people at a secret location. They gave us documentary evidence of tanks having been loaded in Bombay and marked for Canada but unloaded in South Africa. And we had all the proof and I took it to Parliament when, of course, Mr. Sipian Singh denied it all. And then what happened was absolutely shocking. I got in, my, in a sealed cover, thrown into my gate, a letter which had been drafted the previous night in the minister's chamber and sent to London for Michelle's signature, saying I had contacted him when I was in London and had offered to call off the whole issue of raising it in Parliament for a commission. And I went to Parliament and I, show, I read out the letter. I said, this is what is happening. And of course, there was a big furor. And then it went to the Privileges Committee for misleading the House and so on. And uh, Hidayatullah was the, uh, just, sorry, Justice Hidayatullah was the Vice President. Vice President. He asked for my passport, found I was not in London on those dates at all. And most of all, I realized then that there had been a phone call from Michelle to me luckily in the presence of a colleague, Mr. D.P. Singh, telling me that, Mrs. Alva, you've got it all wrong. I'm your father-in-law's friend, and I've had long association with India. I'm not a Jew, I'm a Christian, because I'd called him a Jew. And uh, saying that, you know, he had got, luckily, Mr. D.P. Singh just told me, cut it off. Absolutely. This whole was an attempt to stick That's to right. That's right. And then he had recorded my voice, and then changed his story and said, no, I don't know when she came, but I got uh, her message on a telephone, on my telephone machine. The most fascinating thing about your story is that it shows that Wolfgang Michel had a close relationship with C.P. and Singh, who was then Minister of State for Defence Production, and presumably, if the information you were given is correct, with Sanjay Gandhi. Yeah, but Sanjay Gandhi had died by then. But and, the uh, operation, yes. you were told, was happening under Sanjay's under, instructions. Yeah. And Mrs. Gandhi, who was Prime Minister when found out, had the whole thing nipped in the bud very quickly. Yeah, and she, she got the files locked 
and uh, of course Pranabda spoke to me and said Margaret don't push it further let's find a solution absolutely she had the files locked and she got Pranabda that's Pranab Mukherjee to tell you don't push it further we'll find a solution that's now this right. is very interesting because Christian Michel has repeatedly said that he has no connection with the Gandhi family at all. Who says I've said that? I'm not they, saying you did either, any. but I'm saying that if his father had this connection with Congress and possibly the Gandhi family, it's arguable that Christian Michel may have inherited those links and connections. I am no one to say so. I don't know the relationship between them. All I'm saying is this is on record of Parliament. Absolutely. And your it story... Was a debate in Parliament. And your story raises the question, you can't answer it, but your story raises the question, did Christian Michel inherit his father's links. Your story establishes that his father Wolfgang had clear links to C.P. and Singh, possibly to Sanjay Gandhi, maybe to Indira Gandhi. Did Christian Michel inherit them or not? Christian Michel denies it, but it's possible he may have. Let's leave that aside. Your story is interesting because it raises that possibility.